Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to this Sheetify CRM channel. Today's focus is to walk you through a complete Google Task tutorial. I'll quickly share everything you need to know about Google Tasks and how you can use it across your different Google apps. Towards the end of this Google Tasks tutorial, I'll show you our all-in-one Google Sheets CRM template that we built for small businesses and the awesome connection we created inside our Sheetify CRM with the Google Tasks app. First of all, as you can see, we're inside Google Calendar. And if we navigate down here, you can see we have a few tasks. Now to access the web version of the Google Tasks interface, you will need to jump inside your Google Calendar and then navigate over to Tasks. If we navigate over to the left hand side, you can see we have all tasks selected. We can also select start tasks or we can navigate down here and choose the specific task list that we want to view. At the moment, we have all of these task lists selected. Let's select all our task lists and within each of these lists, you can see our existing tasks details about the task, the date and time, and we can also turn this task into a reoccurring task if we like. Choose when you want that task to repeat. Again, this is a great feature if you have reoccurring tasks, and this saves you time creating the same task over and over again. Again, let's click on this task. We have the task name, as well as details, and we can add the time in here, as well as the date, and choose if we want to turn this task into a repeat task. Now with each of our tasks inside our task lists, what we can do is click on the three dots and that's gonna generate task options. We can add a subtask, add to start, delete, or move the task to a different list. And you can see that task has been shifted over to our web design projects task list. You can see that this task here has one subtask. To complete a task, simply click here and that task will be marked as completed. Again, to add a new task, simply click up here, add the name of your task. Let's close this for now and navigate across. We can also drag tasks to a different task list. And if we navigate back over to our calendar, we can also choose to show our tasks within our Google Calendar if we like. Then with each of these tasks, we can go ahead and customize and edit that task from the Google Calendar web interface. Let's close this. We can also quickly create a new task, navigate down to task, and simply add your task details. Add the task name, the task date and time, description of your task, and choose the task list that you want to add that task to. If we click on a day within our calendar, again, we can quickly add a task. Okay, let's close out of this. You also have access to the Google Task app directly on your mobile device. That means you can manage all your tasks on the go. Now, inside your different Google Apps, you will see this sidebar. And if you click on the Google Task app, here you can quickly create a new task or you can create a new task list and jump between your different tasks within your different task lists to quickly preview those tasks in this right-hand sidebar interface. For example, let's head over to Google Docs. Again, you can see this sidebar, and here we can add tasks, as well as add and manage our different task lists. Hey, just quickly, before we get back into this tutorial, if you're getting value from this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and ultimately helps us reach and help more small business owners across YouTube. Thank you in advance, and with that quick note, let's jump back into this video. Let's navigate up to task lists and jump down to sales tasks. Then if we navigate over here, did you know that your different Google apps are connected to the Google task app? For example, if we type in at and then start typing in task, you'll see this task element. Here we can add a task name, assign someone. I'm going to add myself, add a date, the 15th, and then assign task. And you'll see that task has been added there and it's assigned to me. If I navigate up to tasks, and click on my tasks, you'll see that task assigned to myself. Let's navigate down, hit enter, this time type in at and task. Here we have task. I can assign this task to someone else inside my organization directly from Google Documents. This makes team collaboration a lot more smooth and functional. You can now directly add tasks and assign those tasks inside Google Docs. And as soon as we assign this task, Emma will be able to access this task inside her task list my tasks. In the past, you never used to be able to assign tasks. Now you can. Also, let's navigate over to Gmail. And as you can see inside Gmail, I've opened up the Google task app. Here I can also create a task by dragging an email into this task list. And as you can see, I can change the name of this task, add details, the date and time. Is this a reoccurring task? And then I have the associated email over here that's associated with this task. I'm happy with this. Now, for example, let's head back over to Google Calendar and jump over to the Google Tasks interface. And you can see under the sales task task list, I now have this new task. If I click on the email, 
that will simply take me to my Gmail account and the email that that task was assigned to. Pretty cool, right? Now let's jump over to my Sheetify CRM, which is an all-in-one Google Sheets CRM toolkit. Like I mentioned, this all-in-one Google Sheets template is built for small businesses. And one of the tools that we have inside this toolkit is Client Tasks. Now let's navigate over to the right-hand side and open up Tasks. We can do this because we're inside a Google app, Google Sheets. Now one awesome feature that we have inside our Sheetify CRM is the ability to add tasks inside our CRM and you can manage those tasks directly inside this interface as well as sending those tasks directly to the Google Task app, which you can also access on your phone like I mentioned earlier. For example, if we take a look at this task here, demo new website, we have details about that task and you can see that this task is in progress and it's assigned to me. Let's go ahead and click on that task and then navigate up to Sheetify, Taskify and then click on Client Task. And as you can see, that task will be automatically added to our Google Task app. The reason we did this is so that you can manage your tasks inside the web version of Google Sheets. And then you can simply send your tasks to the Google Task app, which you can manage inside the Google Task web interface inside Google Calendar or inside the Google Task mobile app. If you're interested in learning more about our Sheetify CRM, as well as managing tasks, both sales and client tasks inside Sheetify and the Google Task app, I'll add the relevant tutorials down below in the description for you to check out. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this updated Google Task tutorial, helping you maximize your productivity using the Google Task app App, as well as with other Google apps. Again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.